Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am Sefian FM, your host for today's events, uh, and we are going to be playing a, something a little different. Not a typical football manager. This is an American football manager game. A basically a few weeks ago, a friend of mine, Red Event Studios, links for, to his stuff are in you know the description down below, as well as up top. I highly suggest you check out his stuff. He's got a ton of great videos that you can wade through. So definitely check his stuff out. But a couple of weeks ago, he asked me if I knew of any American football manager games. And to be honest, I didn't. I had heard of one on Steam called Front Office Football 8, I believe. But there's no demo, so I've never been able to check it out. And it looks very much like a spreadsheet type of format. So I was never fully interested in, in buying it just to see what it was like. And then, but he did mention that he found this one. This is Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2018. It did have a demo to it, so that is what we're playing right now. I figured I don't want to buy, you know, a $20 game and have it suck. So this is what we have for today. This is what we're going to test out. Basically, I am testing it out so Red Event Studios can see exactly what this game is like. So create a new league. League name, Cephian FMFL. Whoops, FL. We are in 2018, let's start it there. League type, career, sandbox, online. In the demo, you are not allowed to do online, but if you buy it, there is an online game. There is a lot of customization to it. I'm sure in most modern day football manager games or in any kind of manager simulation games, you would like a little bit more customization. Uh, I don't know. I, I like the NFL, I'm not a true follower of the NFL. So, but we're going to stick with the modern stuff. Modern 53 players, practice squad. I'm just going to say 15. Overtime format. So overtime format. I'm going to go no overtime. It doesn't look like it has the actual, you know, overtime rules that they've put in place in the past couple of years. So I'm just sticking with no overtime, not worrying too much about it. Playoff formats, sudden death, no ties. And all of this I am going to leave alone. But start with creation draft. I have not done this yet. I've done mis mainly the auto draft just as a test. But let us see what it's like. So I am going to choose a team. Typically, New England is my team. I am a Patriots fan through and through because that is where I am from. However, Miami Palms, I am looking to move to a palmy area. So I'm going to be selecting them and just see what it's like. So right off the bat, if you are a lover of, it's a certain managerial sim game called OOTPB, which is, I believe, out of the park baseball. This looks very similar to it. Maybe a slightly lower scale, I guess, but um, over the park or out of the park baseball has been around for several years. I usually buy it every two to three years. I love baseball. I am not very good at baseball sim games. Uh, the trading, and especially when it comes to games like this, trading and things like that, I am so clueless on. It's just I want the best players, but I don't want to give up. Obviously, my my little players that I w want to develop. So. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna suck in that area. I will tell you that much right now. However, looks very much like that baseball sim game. And if you have never tried it, if you love baseball or if you love managerial sim type games, I highly suggest picking that up. Out of the park baseball 19 is finishing up. Uh, 20 will be coming out very soon, uh, probably in the next couple months. Simply because baseball season is almost over. We've got a month left. But anyway, let's get into this. Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2018. Basically, you've started here. This is, you know, American East. This is all the teams in our section of the league. Uh, obviously, you have two leagues. You get American and National, and you get a bunch of teams in each that are split up into four team divisions. And in our division, New England, New York, Miami, and Buffalo Bulls. Buffalo Bulls. <laughs> I'm going to laugh every time I see that. Staff-wise... We have a general staff. They're not great. They're two and a half stars. Recite. We can view profiles. Uh, I'm sure in the full game, maybe you can get actual head coach pictures. Maybe you can download them like you can in Football Manager. I don't know. But it is fairly detailed. Development detail, youngster. I mean, all these have star ratings to them. So that is, you know, a very big plus. You can see all their information, the quick and dirty right here. You view the profile and you get all the in-depth stuff. You can offer a new contract and everything. So roster wise, we have nothing because we got to go through the draft. So that is what we'll do next. You can see up here, here's all the menu items, new save, load options, help and credits. Here is how you actually progress. So this will progress you to the next, I guess the round one, pick one of the draft. It says right here. Once the draft is done, it'll progress to free agencies and continue from there. 
Home standing, you can see the home, your home page. This is right here. Here's our schedule. So uh, standings, obviously no one's played a game. Leaders, league leaders, team stats, finances, almanac, which I'm assuming is, you know, who won the league 20 years ago and things like that. And then you can search for players, positions, things like that. Uh, down here, so obviously we've gone over, these are your teams uh, in the league. National League has a different set of teams. So American... Oh, that's cool, actually. If you switch, this little icon changes, too. So, staff, roster, depth. We have nobody there. You can train the players. You can do some trading. Obviously, you can't do that now because we have no players. We are starting a brand new league from scratch. So, but schedule, info, history, scout. And then down here is also kind of the, I guess, the quick and dirty links. So, staff, roster, depth chart, training, trade, strategy, schedule, team info, team history, and scouting. So this is probably the stuff that you may try to use most or may be most useful, I don't know. But let us get to the round one, pick one. Graphically, this is actually not too bad. St. Louis Goats selection. So we are, where are we? We are down a bit. So let's get to the first round. So Miami is up. Who do we, how do we pick? On the clock. Wow. You players. So I want overall. No, I want overall running back. Nice, nice running back at 100. I would like a great quarterback. Is there a great quarterback? QB, M card. Oh, here's a better one. Strength, 56, 75. Okay, so T. Harry is going to be my first draft player. So I'm going to pick him because I want a great quarterback to kind of overlay everyone else around. So are you sure you want to select this player? I do. Theodore Henry is our first ever signing. So how do I get back to the close view? There we go. Dallas is up next. We're going to pick until human again. Yes. So Miami Palm selection. Let's take a look at the players that are still around. Overall center wide receiver. Strength is 36, 55. I'm going to pick this dude, Jay Smith, Jeremy Smith. So he is our second signing at a wide receiver. So basically, I am going to let this round out and we're going to finish the draft. I will get back to you once the draft is done. See you in just a couple minutes. So our draft is done. Let's look at the team recap. I basically just had, you know, my CPU do it for me. Can you see the team recap, draft recap? There we go. So here is the full draft recap. Holy crap. There's a lot of players. Uh, so Philip Long at running back. Billy Douglas at tight end. So we're not defensive end linebacker. There's a tackle guard. Okay, so let's take a look at our roster. If we just sort by overall, we can, we've got a bunch of really good players. Uh, well, not a bunch, but... I would say from 87 on up is is really good. 86, you know, to 80 or thereabouts is medium. Some of these guys, I don't know how they're how much they're going to be playing, but Isaac or Richard Isaacs, 59 overall at 28 years old. I'm not sure how much he's going to be doing. So we are going to have to to figure that out. The one thing I do love is the experience. Uh, I'm assuming that's experience at least seven years. I'm going to say six seasons, nine seasons. But if we're just starting out this brand new league, they already have seven, six, four, nine seasons under their belts. I'm not really sure how that happens. Kind of one of those things that happens all the time in those managerial type games where you have, uh, let's go to the master depth chart. You have your, you know, your brand new league. Nobody's ever played before except they have, you know, experience already. So, but anyway, this is our master, master depth chart. I, ha I did have the AI set it all. Uh, Theodore Henry is our starting quarterback, so hopefully he'll get most of the game time. McKenzie, maybe a little. He's only at 80, so he's not great. But tight end, 74. We have really good running back, so that's good. But I guess wide receiver, we probably need a new one. Tight end, we need a second one, a, a better one. Right tackle, we need a better one. Uh, kicker at 81, do I worry about that? I'm not sure. Why is kicker, kick return? Oh, kick return. I should really figure this out. Our defensive line is not great. So 
cornerback one and two, 81 and 87. So I did, obviously I didn't really work on the defense part of things, but uh, we can go to trade. I don't know if you can do that right now. It doesn't look like, oh, you can. So I can trade players. Where is player to, um, oh, so here I can, I guess, league wide trade block. No one's on the trade block yet because obviously it's, you know, not even free agency is over. Training. I have no idea. I assigned a couple of players. No idea what that actually does. Uh, I have obviously not played too in depth of this, but you know, we will see. Strategy. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I like the way Donald Forster has it. Attitude balance. Focus of balance. Tempo is slow. I don't, I'm not really so sure about. Passing to balance. Pass to running backs. I'm not really sure. I mean, I find passing to running backs, but primary receiver is Jeremy Smith. I think he's got the better rating. So overall, I'm not going to worry about this too much. Playbook. Wow. So team strategy. I not really going to worry too much about this. This is how they're going to be playing on the field. Our schedule, as you can see, we do have a four week preseason. So that's typical in American football. Team information. So here you can actually change a lot of the different things. You can change the city, the mascot, the palms as a mascot. I don't know how you do that. Is Do you have someone running up and down the field in a palm tree outfit? Seems kind of stupid, but you know, we've got some pretty stupid names here in America. So team appreciate MIA is normal. Uh, I can put in the owner email, I guess. AIM. Is that like the AOL stuff? This is not all that new, I guess, but whatever. Field type grass or turf. I obviously you want grass. Turf is just annoying. AI control team password, uh, things for a online save or something along those lines. So let us get straight to free agency. So here you can see players have been picked up for free agency. Uh, these are the contracts they've been given by the team. So this is where our free agencies lie. It is in the search and then you go to free agency, free agents. And I have to say the help section, I had to look at the help section because it is not really making a lot of sense. Uh, but this is what we're looking at. Our fullback section. I wish I could, I can compare the players. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Where's Miami? Miami. Our fullback is right there. Dawson. But I now I've got to find the dude. Mojica, this is kind of annoying. You should be able to just, you know, if you say compare player, he should automatically come up in this list. Little things like this kind of are annoying about this game. Where is Mojica? Oh, why isn't it? There we go. 91. Okay. So overall, strength is better. Agility, not so much. Arm intelligence, less. Accuracy, tackling. Okay, so he's actually not as good good. However, hands 70 to 46, not too shabby. So let us sign as an active player, player signed. Okay. I guess I didn't need to do much there. I was, I was expecting to have to go through some kind of negotiation phase. So I'm going to just keep going until the training camps. There we go. Training camp results. So basically at pre preseason, you get on your training camps for, I think a month or a couple weeks. Uh, and then they all come back and then start the preseason. So training camps wise, cheese training camp results. Okay. So this is every every team. Palms, there we go. So we've got a couple of gains. Not great gains, to tell you the truth. And a couple of big time losses. And that's just basically players have increased their stats here and have lost some stats here, which is not great. 40 years old, Camacho. He's going to get a broken everything in the first game. So anyway, so that we can close that. Next up is preseason. Let's start this baby up. So weekly schedule. We are, this is the start of preseason week one. I can, you know, sim all these games. I can sim multiple seasons. So if you just want to just manage the data, you know, the not day to day, but the players themselves, you can get your players. You can sim a week and a sim or a season. You don't have to worry about any of the gameplay. I have not looked at the gameplay, so I'm going to check this out. So play the game. Let's see. Start game. Uh, New York. Team stats. There's nothing so far. Down here you have, you know, the score. Miami 0-0 to Jet. Ooh. Who were the... 
what is there? Here, exit. New York is who? This is funny. That's, can I get, why can't I get back? I don't care about their depth chart right now. So they are the New York pilots. In real life, it is the New York Jets. So NYJ. That's why you see NYJ, which is kind of silly. Uh, Baltimore, Jacksonville, Minnesota, Buffalo. Uh, I, the only reason it's NYJ is because New York has a second team, which is, oh, here, the Giants, which is pretty funny uh, that they're not the NYP as the pilots. So anyway, play the game. Let's start the game. Miami calls a toss. Heads or tails? I always, I'm, I'm not always, but I'm going to go heads. So we are actually going to kick off because we can receive on the second half. So whoever kicks off the first half receives on the second half. So Miami has won the toss and lets the kick off. So kick off. That is, so this is going to be fairly in depth to a certain degree. Not great. Uh, here we go. I'm not sure I should be the one playing this. What is auto mode? I don't know what auto mode is, but I'm going to call the play. And you can see it's kind of like a 2D, a low-key 2D version of uh, Football Manager's 2D. Wow, I don't know what just happened. But unfortunately, the pilots get a first down. I am going to blow it, pretty much. This is the gameplay. Um, do I have a time clock? There is a time clock in the actual game. I don't know... I don't know what's the difference between these two. But it's not looking so good for right now. I wish I could get out of the defense and try doing a, you know, a offensive play. So we're just going to have to get through this section and see how it works. Come on, guys. Like I said, our defense kind of sucks. I am just going with whatever Donald Forster says. And there's a touchdown. Wow. Oh. I guess this is just preseason. Okay. I, I know. Touchdown. I get it. So, kickoff defensive onside. Yeah, there's no reason they would do an onside, which is just a shorter kick, hoping that you would get it quicker. But nice passing there. Again, is there a time clock, or can I just up and walk away and not worry about it? Does not look like there's a clock. In general, there is a clock. Not sure why they have it now. So skinny posts, this is where, please don't, oh, thank God. This is where you really need to know what your, uh, what all of these plays are. So if you're going to play this game, play or check your playbook very carefully. So our QB and wide receivers are doing fairly well. I am probably going to play this. Oh, there's our fullback. Wow, snaking our way through. Very nice gain right there. So Mujica, there's Mo, our new boy Mujica, 13 yards. Uh, so we are doing very well. So I'm basically going to play this first quarter or so just to show you what it's like. And then I'm just going to sim the rest of it or at least not have it on camera for you. So quarterback to tight end. Great catch right there. So Douglas, B. Douglas for 16 yards. I don't like that because I have no idea who I not don't know my team. You really should know your team very well, I guess. What just happened? I thought I called a play. No? Uh, and he gets tackled. That sucked. So sacked for negative six yards, but our wide receiver gets just, is it a first down? It is not. First and goal. Pitch right. Passing yards, 42 to their 77. Rushing, 12 to their 13. Let's see if a pitch right can work. Oh, touchdown. Miami gets its first touchdown. So we are tied. Well, basically tied. I'm assuming they're going to score. Yeah, kickoff. There it is. So you can do a kickoff for one point. So that would bring it up to seven. Or a two-point conversion, which is an actual regular play for two points. But... Kickoff is a lot easier than a two-point conversion. you got to actually cross the end zone, and it's not as easy as you would think. Wow. Back to the 50-yard line. That is not the greatest. So this is the second quarter. I'm going to stop it on camera, and we're going to come back after the game. I'll be right back. 
So ladies and gents, that is week one. I do not know why it does not show the scores. That seems very weird. But we did win 30 to 22. So let's take a quick look at the game log. What you basically missed, and I played part of the second quarter, but not all of it, is great interception by Martin and return for 20 yards. New York penalty. I don't know what tripping. Okay, I'm, I didn't see any of this. So I didn't see the fumble either. But recovered by Hopkins, led to a touchdown. Very well done. And you can see the box score. So there's since it's preseasons, they're, they're not actually counting anything. But here you go. Scoring summaries, team stats. First down, we got best of them one bite, just a single one. Uh, total yards, 359 to their 297. Passing, we did a better job, but not by much. Overall, let's see, where's uh, T. Harry? 24 out of 33 completion, 96.4 rating. I do not know what the ratings are, but Bryant, damn, 128.5. You really brought it back, didn't you? So I'm going to add him to the watch list. Not that I'm going to be playing for too long. 86 overall. So receiving 73 yards, 105 for Smith. Uh, kicking, punting, where's the rushing yards? 87 for Hopkins, 5 for Mujica. Didn't he get, I thought he got the touchdown. He just got a great uh, run there at one point. Okay, whatever. So game analysis, it's, it is fairly in depth. I will say that. Okay. So ladies and gents, we have to deal with the, with the roster itself. Active 69, practice and act inactive zero. Uh, right now our problem is our active roster exceeds the 53 that we set in the beginning when we set up this game. So we basically have to throw, what is that? 16 players. Well, our practice squad is only 15 players large. So we have to throw one out. I'm just going to let the AI manage it because this episode is far too long. So the AI took care of it. Our active squad is now 53 players. Practice is 15. Someone was dropped. I am not sure who was dropped. It does not say. It didn't tell me when I chose it either. Uh, info. No, you're not going to tell me anything. So I'm going to sim the league and let's get to the end of the season. And as you can see, it's simming rather quickly. So it's not like Football Manager. I mean, there's not a huge amount of stats behind it, I would imagine, unlike Football Manager. And there's not as many teams. So we're not dealing with 60,000 players. We're dealing with, you know, a 1,000 players maybe? Not even? But so week six, uh, 17, let's see, where are we in the schedule? In the not schedule. I want the standings. So American East, we are 10-5-1. So, not too bad. That might be playoff contention. What is the schedule? So, last one up against the Buffalo Bulls. Uh, we did... Oh, we tied them. That was the last week. So, we did make it into the playoffs. You can see down here, we are playing the Wolfpack, who is Kansas City. So, league champion. We don't have one yet. Let us sim this week. And this will sim the entire playoff week. They did win. Wow. Doubled our points. Not very good. Uh, box score, who is still playing? So passing is still Harry. 15 games, game started. Completions 340 out of 492 attempts, 3,900 yards. So average rating is 105.9. And again, I have no idea what QB ratings are based on. It is insane how they choose that. I have no idea. So, but overall, 105.9 is a very good rating. So... I'm not going to worry, since we're out, I'm not going to worry too much. Um, it sucks to be the Wolfpack, though. They got beat by 10 points against the Stags. And the Stags are Indianapolis, who is a rival of New England. So, sin this week? Yes, I definitely want to. Stags win out there. Let's see. Sim game. There we go. Show the score. And the Stags win out. Not something you're going to see anytime soon against with Indianapolis in real life. But that's a different story. 37 to 31, Stags are the winners. They are the league champion. And that is how they do it. So once the playoffs end and the final season is over, there is a Pro Bowl. This is basically the best of the all of both sides. The National League American uh, go head-to-head -head in just a very fun game. There's no stats really involved. What the hell is 45 pancakes? I have no idea what that means. Show the score. The National won 23 to 17 over the American. So overall, it's not bad. If you want an American football sim, this is fun. It's something that I actually, while I was playing the, that first game, 
against New York. I was having fun with it. It was enjoyable. It's not something I'm going to be plopping down some money for. I will tell you that. But, you know, overall, not too bad. Very in-depth. And if you have some buddies to play with, it probably more fun than it has been in this demo. So can we finish out the season? Yes. Finish out the end of the season. Go to free agency. So that does it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've gotten something out of this. Uh, maybe found it <laughs> enjoyable or informative, whatever you want to do. At least you get to see all the screens and everything that you can do with this game. There is a lot you can do and a lot of, you know, just details and data behind the screens, which is nice. So anyway, that does it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy. Thank you.